so I'm going to be interviewing two members from Lycia. So, I have some questions. Alright. First, um, what got you into the music career? Well, uh, I've listened to music my whole life. When I was a little boy, oh, like four years old, I got really, really excited about music. I'd be riding around in my mom and dad's car. And back then in the late 60s, everyone would listen to music on AM radio. And while all my friends liked all the bubblegum pop and the pop stuff of the day, I was really drawn to the probably what you consider now to be the, the heavier or maybe deeper stuff. Um, the Doors, Light My Fire, The Who, I Can See For Miles, and two songs by the Jefferson Airplane, White Rabbit, and Somebody To Love. Um, this was like 1967. And um, from that point on, I just always loved music and I just kept on going until I was in high school and started playing the guitar and then I started a band. So, also, um, what made you choose the kind of music you are doing? Well, um, while I was in high school, I found myself, I was a, a sort of an aloof guy, kept to myself, and um, I, I liked unusual music. When I was in high school, I liked a lot of art rock, like Roxy Music and that kind of stuff, and then punk rock took off, and I was really on board with that. And then when I heard my first few post-punk bands, it seemed to be a music style that was made for me, and that's where I started, and that's how things evolved. Okay. And also, what caused you to join the band? What caused me to join the band? <clears throat> well, I used to have a lot of pen pals, and one guy named Matthew sent me a dubbed copy of Ionia, and as soon as the music turned on, I just loved it. Like, it stopped me in my tracks. I loved it so much. So then I started the hunt to get Mike's address, and Sam at Project sent me a letter giving me Mike's address. So I wrote to him, and we started writing to each other back and forth. And at the same time, I was in a band, and so I was sending him um, <laughs> demo tapes and stuff. And then he was working on The Burning Circle at the time, and he asked me if I wanted to sing on two songs. So I said yes, and I came out to Arizona, and I sang on Nimble and Surrender. And at the same time, they were sort of planning to go and tour, and so through a bunch of trial and error, I ended up becoming the keyboard player. And that's how I became a member of Lycia. Um, what, why did you like the music of Lycia? You know, it just, it was perfect to me. Like, I, it, it's as soon as the music kicked in, it was just like I felt like I have to know this person. And then when his voice kicked in, it really like it literally stopped me. What I was in the middle of something and it stopped me from what I was doing. And I was like, I have to know this person. And it's just it was so just like dark and the guitars were so beautiful and I loved the drums. And I loved his dark, like deep vocals, and I loved the lyrics. I loved everything about it, and it. I just, I had to know him. So I don't know if it's the universe or what, but that's what happened. So thank you, for, thank you for doing the interview. Thank you for having us. And goodbye. Bye.